You ready? Uh, let me just find this guy. It's Sir Franklin. <laughs> Obviously. Oh, alright. Help if I can spell it. There we go, I'm in. Alright, welcome back. Or DM door commentary. So we have Lunar here. Hello. Did you like turn your mic off for a second? I did. My dad came into my room. Oh, okay. <laughs> so we have Sir Franklin here. <laughs> At 11.91, of oh, course he's with in Necros. Necros. <laughs> Versus Pan Kraz 8 with 648. He went first but didn't do anything, so I'm worried. I'm not sure Seth Franklin's gonna OTK. Are Necros really a deck to OTKs? Not really. Okay. Oh, good, I wanted to look at Necros anyway. Still trying to work on part two of my ban list prediction. Gonna try to think about what they're gonna hit in OCG. Because apparently, OCG, Necros are still the best deck. Despite their many, Damn. many hits, they're still number one. Damn. Even over Infinity Dot decks. Seriously? Mm-hmm. Damn. So they'll probably kick the living shit out of them, so I want to see what they do. Straight yeah. to the grave. Yep, yeah, straight to the grave. He doesn't even activate it. And you don't know, this man could be playing Herald of Green Light, which you know about yeah. that. <laughs> 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 so wrote a search search for Shriet Shriet. I'm I'm starting I'm starting to look at this too. Oh no, Colossalus. And Colossalus pitch. Alright. So is he just gonna fucking lock him already? Oh. Damn. Oh, he's actually doing that combo. No. I've seen that before. Mm -hmm. People. Summon both. Oh, wow, he actually might OTK. Yeah, he might actually OTK this man. Holy crap. I have. Look at the. Uh, damn. Yeah. Damn. Yeah. Scoop it up. Holy shit, we didn't get to see what I'm like. He's gonna lose anyway. He wants to scoop it up and go into game two. Instead of revealing his deck. Wow. The deck is so consistent. It searches so much. Mm hmm. Uh, I don't even know what to hit. <laughs> I, w I really want to know what they're going to hit. You know, so How about they just ban every card in it? Because I hate Necros. <laughs> <laughs> but... <laughs> that and Shadol. Just ban every card. Shit, everybody's fucking crucifying me for saying the contract should be banned. <laughs> mm. Most people are really lenient when it comes to Shadol. Like, how are you so lenient when it comes to Shadol? Yeah. I'm sick of them. Like... They're not getting more support. They're really fucking good. They're like really ridiculous, and they barely got fucking. They never even got touched directly here in the TCG. So, why so? Oh, okay. Well, that reveals your deck. No. Huh. I guess he was like, oh, well, I guess the Necro. Wait, I didn't get to see who chose to go first. To say, did the Necro's mm -hmm. player choose to go second? That's weird. I don't know. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> oh, GG. <laughs> Damn. Great. Wow. Wow. Mm. <laughs> Wait, aren't you going first? Mm, apparently not. Oh, I guess the Necros player went first and then passed it. I to guess. The... I guess this guy picked to go second, and then the Necros player just passed. Oh, okay. Is that it? Is that GG? <laughs> Not the game three? Fucking <laughs> show canceler. Show canceler. Woo! Oh, that's amazing. And it's like, you'll never guess five. <laughs> Bull oh, blader. Bull blader. I actually, I have seen this as well. And that bull blader's got up and In that cross. They play this or DD warrior lady. Hmm. Just does the geki at him. Okay. Oh, that's so sad. I, I, <laughs> I was so happy with that spell canceler. All right, so he's gonna go ahead and banish the blue blader. Oh, yes. I said to doubt he's gonna be using it <laughs> like that. <laughs> Man, that spell canceler was so good, but that blue blader though. 
What's up with people saying that the gin block isn't good because people have outs to it? Yeah, that's stupid. That's stupid. There's outs to everything. <laughs> like, if it wasn't for the gin lock, we wouldn't have to be playing these unnecessary pieces of shit like Bull Blader. <laughs> oh, raise it again. Get another spell cast, please. <laughs> that would be great. Sir Franklin, did you just get a terrible hand, sir? You can't even block with Valk, like... If he, if he gets you, this is it. I would call five. <laughs> just to be cautious. Mm. But no. No. Keep going. No, oh, keep going. Keep going. Damn! <laughs> <laughs> scoop. What's up with the scooping? <laughs> no one's got time to play nowadays. Damn! We're already going into game three. We're only six minutes in. Like... <laughs> It's ridiculous. This is a tournament. <laughs> I would have a whole bunch of time to just walk around until the next round starts. <laughs> just seriously, I'm just trying to think and figure out what should be hitting Necros, because I, I really wonder if OCG is going to go ahead and hit Manju and Senju again, because that's what's really what sparked life back into Necros and the OCG was the return of Manju. Back. Yeah, giving those back. So maybe they'll go like Manju to one and send you to like two. Yeah. No, I have no idea. I'm sorry, but a deck hit that bad should not still rain king. Yeah. But Brio, That's just Brio's final one. Design. Unicorn was the correct hit. I, I agree with that. Not sure what cycle. I guess they're like it's kind of like a monster reborn. So go ahead and hit it. So I, I guess. Cycle is like kind of the go-to thing for the gin lock, I guess. Really? Yeah, because uh, you can uh, pitch. Yeah, I'm so uh, afraid like, I'm not having that shit again. Clawsless for cycle, and then cycle banish the gin, summon the clawsless. Mm. Damn, nice. <laughs> nice. Franklin's like, no, not again. Yeah. <laughs> it sucks that he revealed his. Mm -hmm. His ace, and he it did nothing, and now he yeah. knows of it. He's gonna have him blind space him, hitting. Ooh, the skill drain. Let me see him again, hitting the. Hitting the. Stay it. Oh. Yeah. Um. Oh. Well, that... <laughs> Franklin just shut him down. Franklin just kicked his ass. Alright, Franklin, go ahead. Normal summon that Manju. I bet this guy felt so safe with his mistake, his skill drain, and mm -hmm. his mm -hmm. reasoning. But nope. So now let's have Franklin. Yep, there's that Manju again. But that is their normal summon. Mm hmm. Alright, when in the hand of Necros, this card is totally justified going down to one. It's like the freaking Stratos of the deck. Sometimes they can't even get their play started unless they have the Menju ready. Especially if we drop, like, Brio down to one. Mm -hmm. Stop all your damn searching. And also, I also think would be a pretty good hit. Well, Shriet. Shriet. Yeah. Because then they play... Then they'll just play triple Rota and then play the triple shit. And of course, yeah, it can be your entire true. cost of your uh, ritual summon, which the whole thing is like, oh, well, it can't be yeah. the same level, so you generally have to use two cards, but instead, you get to use that in the whole entire tribute. And you get, and you get to search well. for yeah. warriors, which of course are some of the strongest in the deck, being not only, what is it, Brio, Trish, and Colossalus? Yeah. So, yeah, shit would be a good hit, too. Especially when it connects to Rota, you know? I seriously doubt Konami's gonna go after Rota, especially just raising it after they raise it up to three. It doesn't seem like they're really into hitting generic searchers anymore. It does it does feel like Rota could be something though because of Satella as well. No, it just hit Satellas directly. Yeah, I know, but it's you know? just Rota is just a very strong card. Mm -hmm. Especially with you uh, future promoting Ignites and still promoting uh UAs. Yeah, I guess. Yeah. It'd just be better if you just go ahead and hit the warriors directly, like Denab and uh, shit. I don't know what to put them at, though. Mm -hmm. yeah. Would it just be best just to go ahead and start at two? Just shoot to two, Deneb to two? 
and then lower them down Maybe, if necessary. But they don't ever play more than two, but I guess they would. Or like you said, they would transfer on to three. Yeah, you know, if we if they went and head and hit Brio down to one, Unicorn down to one, uh, Manju down to one, you know, then definitely they would go ahead and start playing more Shriot. Yeah. Look at this man. Look at this man. Mm-hmm. This is main phase two, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Brio and shit all in second battle phase. Battle phase, guys. <laughs> Recycle. Oh, oh there it is. yay. GG. There you go, that's why Cycle needs to be here. Mm. I said cards like the entire cost, like shit and release are just so powerful. You're supposed to neg when you when you ritual something, when you tribute, but then you start going off of all these other plays. I'm not a big fan of Necros too, I just think they're too consistent. I really hope you have a Regeki or something. See? So, you know, I just, I think that's dumb too. Oh, of course, Ruiz are banned. Like, that, that, that should be a given. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I'm already working on part two. I think, I think banning Construct in TCG's eyes is a little bit too harsh. You know, especially for TCG never hitting Shadals directly. That's a little bit too harsh for a first hit. Yeah, maybe, uh, maybe one. Yeah, they're probably going to limit it. And put that on top because you don't give a shit about your normal summon. The only normal summon you want is your Manji for your search. That's not saying. It's too strong. Mm -hmm. you know, is that it, sir? I really hope you have your Regeki. Or something similar. Alright, let's go. Inferno player comeback time. And that fucking releaser is still in the graveyard, so he can go ahead and banish it and <laughs> then lock him twice. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think it was, was I think it was Mega Capital G who was thinking that that releaser doesn't have to be hit because people have the answers to it. Like, nigga, the evidence of absence is not the absence of evidence, stupid. Yeah. Like, oh, yeah, if, I, I hate doing this example now because Chaos Emperor is not is a rod than that one, but still he's kind of busted. But it's like, oh yeah, you know, Chaos Emperor is totally fair just because you can style him warning it. Like what? No. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> there is a card that stops it that makes it fair. Exactly. It's like, I yeah, I was having that conversation with someone. They were saying um, a clown blade. Uh, I was talking about Clownblade, and he said, "Oh, it's all right. Clownblade just lose because to me because I play D Prison." And I was like, yeah, "That's one card <laughs> in your whole deck." I don't wait. How how does D Prison stop Clownblade? Because the clown gets banished, and so does the Thousand Blades and everything. Well, well, when do you attack with Clown and, and Thousand Blade? You don't attack with them. Oh, did I say D Prison? I meant D Fissure. Oh, yeah. I'm like, what? They don't attack yeah. you? He's like, same material, so yeah, even if it was yeah, D-Prison. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I meant D-Prison. Shit. And hopefully you get it early enough, because if they start, you know, x with them... Exactly. exactly. Then uh, they go to the grave. Grave. You mean macro? <laughs> like, oh, no, I can't play macro. Like, oh, then what are you talking yeah, about? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you can play macro. Also, he, he's really peeved that, uh... Because I had to tell him that Cleefort still get banished by macro and... All Pendulum Monsters still get banished by those cards, even though they don't go to the graveyard. And he was like, well, that's stupid. And I was like, no, it's not. Imagine if every Pendulum deck just got the inherent ability to run Macro and D-Fissure without any consequence. That's ridiculous. Cleaves are already strong enough. Yeah. Those cards would get banned instantly. I wonder what uh, TCG's going to do with lose one turn. Lose one duel. I mean, lose one turn. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Oh, it is a dirty card. It is, it is. It doesn't seem like... Compared to compared to OCG, it doesn't seem like TCG is as happy about floodgates. You know? Huh. I mean, we hit frickin' skill drain while they didn't. So, I wouldn't... Shit, if I was an OCG, I'd probably play Cleese. <laughs> uh, fuck that. Nah, probably not. And number one deck is definitely 
Necros, and the number two is Heroes because they can go uh, Dark Law and Infinity. Mm hmm. And, you know, with only one Dark Call, I mean, that's it. <laughs> you get locked down. That's, that's it, GG. And, and there we again. go. Yep. See? Well, the cycle. <laughs> Is that it? Yeah, cycle. I see it now. Yeah, cycle. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I That's see it now. Cycle, it? I'm like, I don't get cycle. And he just blatantly just shows me. Thank you, Seth Lincoln. Thank you for giving me a perfect example. Now <laughs> I get it. Damn. He might have had something, but that's a gen lock twice. Like, uh. mm -hmm. So that shouldn't be hit, huh? Just lock your opponent <laughs> out of fucking playing Yu-Gi-Oh like just, that? Just get rid of the gen. It's stupid as hell. Mm -mm, I'm sorry. You shouldn't, uh, uh, fucking... like, like you say, it limits all ritual monsters you make in the future. Eh? Sorry. All right, all right. Now I'm, I'm definitely thinking 3 out of 1, uh, Unicorn to 1, Cycle to 1. One, yeah. Uh, Nanju to one. Band, band Jin. J Jin band. Sanju to two. I'm thinking maybe Shrit to two. Maybe, but maybe not. I have to go there quite yet. Not sure. I have to see what OCG is going to do. Because right now they they do have Brio, Brio Unicorn cycle at one, and then Manju at two, and they're still really good because of the Manju and the Sanju place. Yeah. So, and to clearly see, that's, that's their normal summon. They don't generally normal summon, so if they can just go ahead and normal summon a Menjo Sunjul and plus, then it's all good. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And it really sucks that we have to go, I mean, Menjo is justified. I mean, that's, that's the freaking strategy. But it really sucks that you have to go after Sunju just because of Necros. But, you know, when all their monsters do all of them searching, then even Sanju is not safe. At least, we don't, at least we won't have to go after Sonic Bird. <laughs> <laughs> God, but I, I just need to see OCG's list definitely before I go ahead and do part two, but I'm already trying to think. Anyway, we're going to go ahead and call that for an episode, so. All right. <sighs> Necros, too strong. Way too strong. Yep. So, thank you, Luna, for joining me. No problem. So, thanks for watching, thanks for all support, and we will see you guys tomorrow with an episode of the Undo Commentary. Alright, people, thanks for watching.